So CSI, this is the very first year, and it came out of the old MAP program. And it came to be because Tom Condon and I decided we need to have a program that focuses on science, on civics in our community, and also uh, lets every student be who they are and uh, pursue their passions and also understand how they fit into the wider community and how their contributions can make uh, this community a better place to live. We look at a topic and we really go in depth in science, social studies, and with our field investigations, and it really just, it really like sparks questions as you're researching stuff that makes you want to learn more about a topic. What we really want to do uh, is make uh, and keep education relevant to our students and building civic literacy, science literacy through service learning and connected to the community, so I think that makes it special. It's very student-led and like the students get to decide a lot of things. It's not just the teachers being like, oh, we're going to do this. The students get to have a say. One of my favorite parts is that it's multi-age. I love the fact that the 8th graders and the 7th graders can be role models and mentors for the 6th graders. And the 6th graders feel more comfortable in our school, I think, than 6th graders who don't have that experience. We have half a day all together, and we get to have those kids for three years. So you really get to build strong relationships, get to know the kids and their families really well. And uh, the fact that we're out doing real things on a regular basis, it's not like here's a ditto from 20 years ago. You know, it's we're going to do a real investigation, we're going to do real experiments, and we're going to go meet real scientists and go do real work. So I feel like if you're a junior high student, you can't get much more of a real um, learning experience and what you're going to be getting here. So I think that makes us very different. With the CSI program, we're really focusing primarily in the afternoon on science, civic, social studies, and um, combining those two in field-based study. We're not just reading out of textbooks and jotting down the answers. We're like actually doing something with what we've learned and what we've been taught. I'm a former National Park Ranger and I'm a whitewater raft guy, so I love being outdoors. And it's hard as a teacher to be inside for nine months, so the fact that we get out in the field every Friday uh, helps keep me sane, keeps the students sane, and uh, it lets us really practice and apply our science skills out in a real world context. So that's probably my favorite part. I actually tie dyed the shirt in one of the mini courses that I did that was taught by one of the parents. And I thought that was really cool because I'd never tie dyed anything before. The parent involvement in this project is huge. We count on parents big time, so it's more of a family than just a school, which we love because parents drive for field trips. They will volunteer to lead mini course on Friday. Uh, they'll come in and do one-on-one um, -on -one, uh, help with students that need extra help with reading or project time or math, things like that. So it's just more of a community, and we, have, we love that about CSO. It's been really cool for me to see the students in my school rise to the occasion and say, I love science, I want to be involved in this program. And to just watch how excited they get when they know that they're contributing to something real. I would definitely recommend this program to my class classmates because it's just, you learn so much more and you're tied into the lesson a lot more. 